Hello, my name is Jason Turner. I am the co-creator and current maintainer of ChaiScript, which is a C++ uh, scripting, uh, a scripting language designed for embedding in C++. We've tried to make it as easy to use as possible, but one of the common complaints that we have is with uh, people complaining about compile times. And this recently um, is something that came to my attention because I am getting ready to present on ChaiScript at CBBCon 2015 coming up here in Seattle. And uh, while I've never really thought that the compile times for ChaiScript were too much of a burden, um, considering it added maybe 30 seconds to 45 seconds to your build process for your project, I uh, started noticing that that's kind of a long time to make the listeners um, of my talk sit there and wait for the uh, code to compile if I'm giving live demonstration of the code. So I thought I would try to see if there's anything I could do about it. So starting with this simple example from the chiscript.com uh, example page, um, if you just go to chiscript.com examples, this uh, is the compiled in Um, the compiled in standard library example. So if you're not aware, there are two different ways that you can use ChaiScript. One is uh, to use the runtime search for the standard library. So you might do something like this and say that's going to, uh, if you don't provide a standard library instance to the constructor for TypeScript, it will do a runtime search for the local DLL or SO or DILIB or whatever is appropriate for the platform that you're on. But I have a hard time recommending this option. Even though it makes compile times faster, it, uh, it doesn't um, we have the, you have the problem that if your standard library that it finds is not compiled with the exact same settings as the executable that you're currently compiling, then you're going to end up ultimately breaking the one definition rule of C++ and you're going to end up with multiple uh, ChaiScript uh, template instances that are compiled with slightly different debug, release settings, whatever, Unicode versus not Unicode on Windows, MSVC that is, and it's not going to go well. So I prefer to recommend that my users um, compile in the standard library like that, then you know for sure that you've got exactly the same settings. So if we're gonna compile this with G++ and we have to link in LDL, um, lib, that's the dynamic library loader on Linux. And we're going to compile with pthread support. And we're going to use this checkout of ChaiScript that I have locally here. And that should do that. Oh, uh, see, it's easy to forget this. It makes you wonder when GCC is going to make C11 the default. So I started the build. Like I said, I think it takes about 45 seconds. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's see exactly how long it takes. And this, this amount of waiting is definitely going to be a problem um, ultimately for giving a live presentation because how do I feel 45 seconds just like I'm trying to fill it right now by rambling on for a few minutes. So um, we can Uh, oh, yeah, it's using 100% of the processor on my virtual machine here. And it uses a lot of RAM too. You can see right there, it's using 800 meg, 817, 837. Yeah, yeah it just keeps going. It is true that ChaiScript does um, instantiate many, many templates. And this is part of the cost of being able to do things automatically. If you, again, if you're not familiar with ChaiScript, let's look at this test that we are compiling right now. Um, 
I like it as a simple example of showing how to pass a function into TypeScript. This is all it takes, by the way, in case you weren't paying attention. This is a complete example. So we are registering the function called hello world with um, with the name oops with the name hello world into the scripting engine. And then we are telling TypeScript to eval the string uh, and print hello world Bob. So when it executes, it should print hello Bob. Okay, so that, that was a minute. Um, so chai test should print hello Bob. All right, that was a long time. So let is uh, the next thing that I did looking at trying to optimize this is simply let's just see how long it takes to compile, assuming that we are going to load the standard library from a dynamic uh, library. And while we are in here, let's update this example a little bit to utilize um, C++ 11's raw string literals, which make this all just a little bit easier to read. It's kind of formatting I like here. And okay, so now we are instantiating it, um, assuming it's gonna load the standard library. And so the, let's see, our last test used uh, almost a gig of RAM and utilized 100% of a CPU for one minute and nine seconds. This, by the way, if you're doing any kind of embedded scripting, I, it's, I cannot recommend uh, enough using raw string literals. This, uh, it makes the code so much easier without having to put a bunch of escapes in it. Um, around your quotes, and if you're using a scripting language, you're probably calling functions and passing strings to them. All right, so now we're at 35 seconds um, to do a uh, to, to do a build, assuming it's going to load the dynamic library, and only 600 megs of RAM. Significantly better, but we now have the problem that it can't find the standard library. <sighs> So uh, again, I, like I said, I don't like recommending loading it from the standard, uh, loading the standard library from a dynamic library. It's um, you know it's difficult, more difficult for distribution and stuff. So in my own code, when I'm using ChiScript, I instead create a separate file that instantiates the ChiScript library and links it in. But it's still not going to get us exactly where we want to be because we're talking that was 35 seconds here. Um, and that's still too slow for the sake of giving a presentation. So next I decided to test it with um, using Clang. And let's see, for review, 35 seconds at 5, uh, there, 35 seconds at 600 megs used with G++. So using the latest testing build of Clang uh, plus plus 3.8 that I was able to get from the official Clang uh, LLVM repository for Ubuntu. This, by the way, I believe is Ubuntu 15 point... Oh, well, look at that, it's already done. So that took 15.23 seconds. That's starting to get much closer. Then I remembered a talk that I watched from the last CPP con, um, CPP, CPP con 2014, um, optimizing your multi-million multi line of code builds. I want to make sure I got the right talk here. Yes, Matt Hargett, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, common sense acceleration of your million line of code build. Uh, it's a very good talk. And it gives lots of little details um, about how to speed up your builds. And, and we're not talking about a million line of code build at all here. But it still takes plenty of time. Even with Clang, it's using 308 megs of RAM and taking 15 seconds. But one of the things that, uh, that he recommends is to use the gold linker. And it's not something I do on a normal build, but I figured I'd give it a shot here. So dash f use dash ld equals gold. 
dash f fuse equals ld dash wait dash ld equals gold and so now we're using the gold linker instead of the uh the, instead of the standard GNU linker and we've got the build down let's see so that cut an extra two seconds off of the build um, and that if we just for uh, fun here we can compile without threading support which uh, surprisingly to me makes the build just ever so slightly faster again, I believe. So we're down to 307 megs used and 13 seconds of build time. And yeah, it's almost exactly the same amount of time if we disable threading support and freeze up an extra 800 megs of RAM. So starting from the beginning, we were looking at one minute and nine seconds with 949 megs used. And now we are down to 12.68 seconds with 300 megs used. Well, we still have the problem that our test, oops, um, our test doesn't have a standard library to use. It is loading the standard library from some location that doesn't currently exist. So the solution that I ended up with for the sake of my uh, talk here, you can go, you can actually get this, um, excuse me, GitHub Lefticus presentations. These are the presentations that I will be, that I have given or will be given at the, the upcoming conference. And in this crazy easy scripting with ChaiScript example here, we've got a full CMake based project that shows the, the actual layout I've got. So getting down into here, I've got this ChaiScript STD lib um, that all it does is kind of provide a compilation firewall. It um, forward declares the module type and std standard uh, shared pointer return of it create chai stripped as standard lib and in here all we're doing is calling that standard library creator helper function and returning it and then in any of our examples we are just calling that create chai script std lib uh, function that I showed in the other header file. So that has all the pieces together. For in CMake now, we, uh, because of the nature of this, that I want to create the standard library once and link it to multiple executables for the sake of giving my live code demonstrations, I am creating what is called an object library in uh, CMake, which basically just means that it's creating a .o file and making it available to all of these extra projects. So I am linking this in um, as just another object library, uh, object file into each of the executables. And so that gives me my presentation build. That's building my uh, presentation files inside of crazy easy scripting with chai script. I have this configured by the way to uh, to clang just as I was showing earlier and I've got it configured to use the gold linker. So if I build the chai script standard library dot o uh, that should just take a few seconds really by the way i think my compile times are running slightly slower because of encoding this video right now because i was seeing eight second compile times earlier but we'll double check that in just a second All 
All right, so the standard library took 24 seconds to build, but we only need to make it once. We're now we're going to build the first example. And we can see with a verbose output that we are building with Clang 3.8. We have all of our warnings pumped up like I like. And pthread output here. And then link. Yeah, so uh, that worked out to be 16 seconds. Um, and like I said, again, I think it's because of encoding this video that things are slowing down. I'm curious. So that's, yeah, that's taking about half of my CPU there, the uh, video encoding process. All right. So there you have it. This is, as far as I know, is the fastest way to make a build of a tool using ChaiScript. And I would say a normal situation, if you can get your examples down, your, your code down to 8 to 15 seconds, then that seems pretty reasonable to me. And by the way, this is all you know relevant on Linux. I've noticed with Visual Studio, Visual Studio 2015, this really isn't even a concern at all because it only takes about 13 seconds to build uh, both the standard library and the executable that loads it on Visual Studio. So props to the Microsoft guys for having a faster compiler. But it's also worth pointing out that Clang, while it is able to get us much faster builds, even in release mode, it makes significantly slower ChaiScript executables, uh, just so you're aware. All right, well, thank you for your time. I hope that this has been interesting for you. And just to uh, point out here, we I, I am the co-host of CBVCast, which is the only C++ podcast for C++ users uh, by C++ users. And ChaiScript, if you missed that earlier, you can go to the ChaiScript website here, which gives you some good information, links to documentation, and links to our coding standards, which is another project that I'm working on, cppbestpractices.com, which is a forkable shared open source um, coding standards document we've had at this point of recording this. 15 different people contribute to it, so feel free to browse that and see if there's anything that you want to nitpick and contribute yourself. All right, thank you for your time.